And Moses joining the desk for a first look at sports. And of course, Border City Blue Jays off to a great start in the NSRBL. And the big thing is they start off with a great win and extra innings on Tuesday. And they're trying to follow that up against the St. Wahlberg Reds who came to town the other day. So we'll get to the highlights in the top of the first. Reds on the board as Brent Trafiak catches the Jays napping and stealing home. But that's all St. Wahlberg would muster because of this man, Clayton Nermal. He was unhittable the rest of the way. Case in point, top of two, the veteran striking out the side. Part of his 11 Ks on the night. Now, Ermel also helping his cause in the batter's box. Bottom four, 6-1 Jays with the bases juiced. Ermel's base hit to left cashes in all three runs. The Jays would add three more before the mercy rule kicked in. 12-1 the final. Now, after the game, Clayton Ermel talks about his dominating performance. I felt loose. I pitched the other night too. We haven't been pushing our pitchers too hard yet. So last game we went through three pitchers just trying to keep anybody from getting hurt. So it was nice to have a, a short game tonight. My arm felt good, so I kept going. One other game in the NSRVL, the Midwest Expos bounced back from their opening season loss with a 5-4 win in extra innings against Standard Hill. Reed Flash debuting for the Expos, getting the win. Now, it was a great day for the first annual Lloyd Comp Barons Rugby Tournament. Fans soaked in some sun while watching some good rugby. A dozen teams from Meadow Lake and, and as far as Calgary were in the border city. The tournament consists of five senior girls squads, three senior boys teams, and four junior teams. The event is seen as a springboard. The sport is growing and we've got a real solid group of volunteers. It takes a ton of work to pull off uh, what, we're, what we're pulling off in the region. Um, you know, but ultimately, it's, it, we're doing it for the kids first sport of rugby second and and that goes a long way with the senior reapers rugby teams helping out we've got a pretty good partnership with them you know they're providing some of the referees today they're providing some of the uh, hosting facilities for a junior festival we got coming up later in the month and so uh, yeah it's a good connection um, a lot of the reapers that started 10 years ago are now moms and dads and so uh, their kids are learning to play rugby and they, that's one way they can give back to, the, back to the community and back to the sport. Not to mention getting kids more engaged in rugby. I just like the aggressiveness and the contact of the sport and it's just really good to leave it all on the field and it's a really fun sport to get everyone together with. Now the Barons ladies team would win their first game today, 39-19 or 32-19 over Edson, while the Barons boys fell short 41-0 to Edson Senior Boys Club. The tournament runs until 1 p.m. tomorrow.